Welcome back, everybody. So, just got back in town the other day. Um, everybody that watched the last video talked about this serial nine shifter relocation. While it is an awesome shifter relocation, it obviously put my shifter in a pretty bad spot there. So, uh, plan for today. I gotta get the car jacked up. I'm gonna try and just unbolt the tranny uh, brace and just lower it down enough to pull that off, get that off. Um, and then I've already talked to Steven with LOJ. He's got me his shifter relocation heading out. So hopefully that'll be here in the next couple days uh, along with the drive shaft uh wiring harness and ecu got it all ordered up so i do got to figure something out with the fueling on this uh plan i think right now just because i'm waiting for radium to release their new setup i think for now i'm going to run the corvette uh, fuel filter with a regulator and then i can't remember the name of the company but they do the uh the return or the uh, non-return kit for it so um have to get some more information before i start rambling on about that stuff anyways uh so kind of got a plan with fuel uh changing up the hot side here as well which i'm gonna as you guys can see i got the radiator support in which i'm gonna chop up and kind of extend out so i can push the radiator and the AC back further but this line or this this side of the exhaust I want to actually I want to route it down through there come up through the bottom it'll free up this whole area for the turbo so once I get the shifter relocation off I'm going to get that off and kind of toy around with some things and hack it up and see what I can do don't know how it's going to turn out but it'll be an adventure stay tuned anyways i'm gonna get uh get this jacked up and and get that relocation pulled out and i'll be back with you guys all right well we got that shifter relocation out uh hardest part about that kit all together was there's a roll pin so this goes on the shaft and then the, this locks into the shifter here at the bottom there's a roll pin there and it's quite a pain in the butt it's a hell of a lot easier when it's out of the car but i was able to get it all out without pulling the engine and tranny again so uh pardon all the fan noise still wants to be summertime here in southern utah so uh anyways yeah so i got that out uh next i'm gonna i'm gonna get all this pulled out uh for the driver's side on the exhaust um i did end up cutting this leg this runner short so i've got some other manifolds in here it's gonna be a total hack job but i think i can cut this off weld it to that extend it where i need to and then be able to 90 straight down from there so i'm gonna give that a shot and see if we can just go ahead and bring the exhaust straight down back here come straight out here it'll free up a ton of room up here so that's my project next so i'm gonna get that manifold pulled out and kind of take a gander see what i gotta do so i did so i've tried multiple different or thought i had great ideas and they kept coming back to haunt me on how to mount this turbo uh i got two one of these is this one's stainless this one's mild because i was going to do it mild originally and I finally decided that I'm gonna go that two and a half inch into three inch. I got this from Monkey Fab as well. 
really nice billet piece, stainless. Uh, and then I got uh, from Maven. I got their their billet uh, turbo mount. It goes right to the the oil drain bolts right where the oil drain would and you're able to weld in that one for the small frame was uh, three quarters of an inch or inch round tubing and then run it mount it to the frame or wherever uh, however you want to do it just gives you a lot more options so uh, I actually mounted it on the turbo just to check it out and then I put it back so uh, you guys will see that. I'll uh, probably pull it off of there and let everyone check it out. It's an awesome piece. So I did get that one from Motion Raceworks. So anyways, enough rambling. I'm going to get that uh, manifold pulled off and kind of see what I got to do. Be right back with you. All right. So several days later, uh, almost forgot where I left off I had to go back and look at some footage so we got that shifter relocation out I got it sand out uh, got new parts on the way which I believe I already covered so um, I spent some time working on this hot side uh, I didn't want to keep filming it because I've already filmed a bunch of stuff and with the exhaust you guys have seen all that you've seen it a thousand times and quite frankly it's been kicking my butt uh, almost to the point where I was just gonna say screw turbo and set up supercharged and just do the do it the easy way like everybody else has but uh, I'm gonna persevere and I'm gonna get through this and we are gonna run a turbo on this thing so uh, with AC power steering whole nine yards so uh this is what we got so far so i just gotta just gotta build one runner down here get that welded in get all of this welded up all of that manifold welded up and then all this welded up i'm actually gonna chop this down lower i'm gonna 90 it over bring it up right here hopefully all inlet into the turbo right here uh, so it's kind of the plan <clears throat> I'm gonna have to redo some things with the AC uh, I've seen people weld on AN lines and run like AN hose and stuff I think that's what's happening so um, I'm gonna order a bunch of stuff uh, probably next week or the week after so when I get home next time, I'm gonna get all that welded up. And I did get, uh, let's see, I got parts here. So through Concept Z, I got this, uh, return set up for the stock fuel basket so I'm gonna get that in and then I just bought the from Speedway I got the Corvette uh, fuel filter fuel pressure regulator uh, just this set up here which a bunch of you have seen a thousand times before it converts these lines to so yeah that way that'll go up to the the fuel rail here I got that fitting on there to run at 6 a.m. and then 6 a.m. out of the out of the basket in in here and then a six return so all I do have to do is get a bulkhead for the feed off of that basket which I'll get that torn out and figure all that out. That'll be pretty simple. So for now, this is a setup I'm gonna run. Um, that's not gonna get me to a thousand horsepower, 
but it'll at least get the car running. Let me get it all dialed in. I'm um, hoping by the time I get it all dialed in, the radium will have that that uh, new t uh, fuel hat and basket twin pump setup, which is supposed to be pretty amazing. Uh, I, ta I talked to them. They said they should have it on the market by the end of the year. So a couple more months out, but this will at least let me get this fired up and going. So <clears throat> have drive shaft headed in. I have the shifter relocation heading, uh, ECU, and the wiring harness. Got the fuel set up. Basically, I'm waiting to get all the intercooler plumbing, uh, which should be shipping out next week or the week after. They were out of stock on a bunch of, actually all their bins, all they had were straights. So. Uh, all that with couplers and all that stuff should be heading this way shortly. So, moving right along here. Um, this video is probably a pretty short one. Just because I, I, I kept working on it and didn't want to film all this exhaust crap. Uh, till I got past this. So, I'm going to film a little bit more on the next video. Just just uh routing that three inch up into the turbo uh, i got a bunch of got a sheet of cold rolled there so i can make some brackets i got some uh, chrome molly there i uh, don't have a bender so i'm gonna probably gonna do some pie cuts maybe i don't know i'm gonna figure something out but that's for the bash bar and then the radiator support i'm gonna try and move all that crap forward quite a bit uh so anyways enough rambling I uh, appreciate you guys hanging in there. Uh, if you've watched this point, please, if you enjoy, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, any comments, any advice that anybody has, shoot it. Um, I will not I will not shoot anybody down. Uh, I will take anybody's advice. So, appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you next video.